This might blow your mind, but there's a show about chess. She's a girl, like oh, us. This is so good for She's a girl. Andrea. High five, sister. Mm. Let's go. Hi guys, we are professional chess players, and today we're reacting to famous chess scenes from movies and TV. All right, let's get started. Wait, is this Venice? I was gonna say, we just went there. But this doesn't look... It is Venice. Venice International Grandmaster Championship. Okay, the position. His queen's under attack. It is a correct But he has position, a discovery so attack. He has He's a gonna mate him. coming. This is a nice I don't like that people don't watch us like this. I wanna play in luxurious rooms too. Yeah, this is quite glamorous. Content idea. We should do a match in somewhere smoke, super luxurious. Smoking the sig while he plays chess. You can't do that anymore. Do you think they used to be able to? Okay. Check. So check. He, usually you don't say check anymore because that's insulting. It's like, oh, you can't even see it's check, you patzer. Yeah, it was very much for the movie scene, the way he put his cigarette right. before he touched the clock. Thanks, Bishop. The audience watching this old chessboard actually used to be the way that they would broadcast games, so that is true. How do they do it now? Nowadays, they just have a digital board that tracks the motion of the pieces, so you can watch it on computers, but before they could do that, they'd have someone manually putting in the moves. They even have one of those old clocks instead of the nice digital I ones. remember playing with those in Portland Chess Club. I always hated those. The new ones are much better. Ooh, he has a secret message. Well, see if this happened in a real tournament, you'd get killed for cheating. You'd just put computer moves there. So this man realizes he's lost. What's he gonna do? He ripped it? Well, he ripped a secret message. I'm actually on the edge of my seat. Why you usually aren't this? as dramatic and yeah, looking this at is your the most dramatic. as you move your pieces. It's like a four-move checkmate. Like, come on, a six-year-old could find this. You don't need to dr drag it out. It is a movie, though, so they got to make it fun. It is cinematic. To King Wow. Everyone, Everyone on their seats. Yes. Well, the thing is, people wouldn't be on their seats because they would have already known that he's winning. I and have usually never you seen... have a commentator, so you'll have that table somewhere else so people can explain it. Congratulations, sir. Also, chess players get really pissed when they lose. Congratulations, brilliant move. It'd be more like slightly shake the hand and storm off. Give them a look of disappointment, maybe a tear in your eye, and then walk away. Uh, yeah, do you think this is realistic? The amount, This is kind of Queen's Gambit vibes, like how much the audience is hyped up and excited for him. Like I haven't seen that in any tournament I've played. I think Except maybe like World no, Chess I, Championship. I, I think the audience usually does enjoy the games, and... Um, for example, when we were at the World Chess Championship and Magnus won True. his first decisive game against Nepomniachi and then he went on to become world champion, the people who were there were getting really excited and applauding. So you actually still do see that, but people understand the game now because they have people who are commentating it on, whereas in this crowd, I don't know how many of them actually knew what was happening. Okay, people barely, hot. people, That's actually no, you do sometimes say hi. Uh, my opponents never did. Also, the girls were you also do, the scariest. You usually the shake the hand after you press the clock, but I guess she's introducing herself, but you wouldn't actually see that in the tournament. Actually, female chess players were the only ones who ever gave me gifts. And what I mean by that is I'd play in the World Youth Championship and people would bring a little souvenir from their country and oh, give it well, before the, world the game. Youth, yeah. And it was very sweet. But that was a custom. Everyone had to do it. Maybe. That was like That's the only place I've thing. ever had opponents that nice. But okay, let's keep watching. I don't understand about chess clocks. Oh. Um, the clock face nearest you measures your playing time. Each player has 90 minutes. After you move, you press that button on top, and it she stops your clock and her. starts your opponents. And you see that little red flag over the number 12 on each clock? She's explaining so it correctly. You're still down when the 90 minutes is up. And if it does that, you've lost. And, um... For recording your moves. Right. You have to nice record friend. your moves in tournaments. You're not allowed to play without it. Oh, it's touch move. What's that? Don't touch a piece unless you're going to move it. Yep, if this is how it, they play tournaments to as well. Okay. I've seen some crazy controversies where people are like, I didn't touch it, and they call an arbiter, and they have a yeah, big debacle. Yeah, this is very well it. explained. Sorry. 
But you're not allowed to talk during the game, but she was teaching her. What do I do with this? Is your match over? Yes, I won. That was so quick. That was fast. Honestly, I remember being a kid and beating people quickly and storming out of the room like I'm the hottest shit <laughs> yeah, in the world. Yeah, it feels Oh yeah, like your game is still superstar. going. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Even though it's not because you're brilliant, it's because your opponent is so bad. And usually to win that quickly, it just says more about them than you, but I still felt pretty good about it. Still a glorious moment. What do I do with this? Circle your name and drop it in the basket. Nowadays, you have two papers. One is a copy, you rip it off, you give the copy to the tournament, and then you get to keep one as well. But here she just gave her game, which wouldn't happen because then you can't have the record to analyze your Unless game. Unless it's in your brain and it's memorized. Yeah, but like Beth you Harmon know. would do. Well, they set up the pieces correct. The right corner okay. is white, so that's a good no start. No offense, I get movies and all, but like you can't play with pieces this extra looking. Like it just it would throw off my concentration. You can't tell what things are. Yeah, people only use these for aesthetics. Nobody plays with them. And when you go to somebody's house and they have a set like this, you know they don't play chess. That's how you it's know to spot a out a poser. Okay, why are Wait, they playing the world's Why do the pawns moves? look like knights? Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Try not to show any emotion as I speak, okay? You're not supposed to show emotion playing chess anyway. Just keep playing the game if you understand. She's I'm being told something, I suppose. Oh. And she doesn't know how to play, so she's just pushing all of her pawns, which is actually what the beginners do. Actually, neither of them know how to play. They're both just pushing pawns. Chess is a good cover, but she is showing emotion. They should have been playing poker instead. Focus on the game. She only knows how to move her pawns, poor lady. Oh, she got. Oh, there goes another pawn. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know the game. Okay, I'd be very suspicious if I was watching because I'd be like, these people. He also are just doesn't know the game. Yes. He's moving them like. Oh my god, she moved her rook out. Wait, it's a metaphor. Wait, it was That's a knight. Why. She moved her knight out. Which is. He took. I don't even know what pieces he's taking because these pieces okay, are like. So he took a piece there to make it seem dramatic that he said exactly what he wants as he takes the piece, but he's actually <laughs> taking a bad knight with his bishop, which is not something you want to do. And first of all, she shouldn't be putting her knights on the side of the board, but since she was about to get killed, I imagine I, she has worse things I'm to worry about. I'm just confused why they think if they add chess to this, nobody's going to know what they're scheming about. Like, come, if anything, it makes it even more suspicious. It's brave of this man to tell her what's going he to happen. Knows he can't control you. This is actually a really good scene. Yeah, no, it makes me want to watch the wants. show. Yeah, same. He's going to die for her, though. Watching us How do you know that? Closely. Okay. Oh, yeah, and nobody's going to know gonna that. You're going to looking at the camera. I mean, the one guy who plays chess is going to know this is not real. Do you understand? Okay, is, he, is she going to take the piece back? Okay. She took it. Why did she take it with the pawn? She's doubling her pawn. She's taking it with the rook. Why? It's again. It's okay. Do you still help? Because I believe in you. Aww. He cares about her. It is time you are free from this hell. Wait, so and he's gonna, gonna leave, leave in like the that? middle of the game? I do like the idea of using chess as a metaphor and a catalyst for the conversation. I think that's cool for movies. Hey, I appreciate the, the more arts. chess is shown, the better it is for us. Right, so this is a scene where they're trying to get to the Philosopher's Stone and there's obstacles and now they're walking in and it's a giant chessboard but little do the wizards know that Ron is actually a fantastic chess player. He is? Yes. Even though it's weird because he wasn't that smart but he was a good chess player. It's a chessboard. How'd you know, Ron? And now it lights up. Oh, look at all those fallen pieces Wait, to the side. Wait, there's a missing rook. Yeah, there's missing pieces. I like the little pawns look like little teenage mutant ninjas. Oh my god, the pawns are not letting them pass. They're like three 11 year olds. Have some chill, pawns. Now, what do we do? It's obvious, isn't it? We're gonna play our way across the room. Alright, Harry, you do. In this video, we're playing chess, but loser dies! Exactly. 
That's from me. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so that we can do it next time. <laughs> okay, so Hermione's the rook. What happens now? Well, white moves He's first. bleeding. And then Harry so Ron is part of the knight. The other thing is it's really hard to see chess when you're sitting on a piece. We still need to do this with streamers IRL and make them our pawns. You there, D5. Good move. I also, well actually, wait, it's in a D4 or is he black? He's playing the Scandinavian. Oh, I don't know if he's playing black. He's... Oh, so the reason they, you know why they picked the Scandinavian instead of the most common move, which is E5? Why? Actually, the most common move is C5. But the reason they had to pick this is because they wanted to show what happens when a piece gets taken. And this is the only good opening move where you take a pawn right away. That's not, yeah, I guess, yeah, against E4 you don't. They actually have this on chess.com. It's called like atomic chess. Oh God. I like that he sounds like a general. <laughs> Chess would be much better if everything was just exploding. I wish it was just chess players yelling at their pieces to move. You understand right, Harry? Once I make my move, the queen will take me. So he's gonna sacrifice then a piece to distract to the, the queen from no. protecting the right, checkmate. No. What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't! <laughs> Do you want to stop Slate from getting that stone or not? Knight to H3. Uh-oh. This is terrifying. And they just uh, decided not to take the knight? So I think knight to h3. Why did he just jump off the knight? Why does he have to sit on it? So it's checking the king. He could just and jump now off. the queen has to take him. I don't know if he's allowed to. I'm sure he could jump off. Uh-oh. The queen is honestly terrifying in wizarding chess. She's so tall and she just stabs the knight and all the pieces. That's ominous. He's coming. He should just jump off the knight. This is ridiculous. He's too busy being afraid. I'm guessing there must have been some rule. Oh, she didn't take the knight. Oh, no, oh, she no, doesn't. She no, she stabs the knight. Oh, my God. Okay, that was, come on, that was Ron. a very dramatic fall. It seemed like the other pieces were way more brutalized. See, that's why you're not allowed to move. Still playing. Because if she moves, she makes a move with herself. That's why uh, they can't even help poor Ronnie. I mean, Ron surely could have escaped, but that that's okay. And of course, it's Harry that does the final blow. I can't even see the position to validate whether or not it's a correct yeah, checkmate. Yeah, I have but no I idea what's happening on the board. Checkmate. <laughs> Wait. Honestly, I don't know if it worked because it that's looked like the king had space in front of him. He also didn't make a move. How was it? No, he's the he's a piece. Oh, he's a piece. Oh. Well, it wouldn't be Hollywood without the drama. Obviously, all of these are played up, but that's why Queen's Gambit actually did a good job because they were the most real. Like and subscribe, and comment down below if you think Alex and I should do a video where loser dies.